What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my main account and in this video I am going to be making my seventh. Yeah, that's right. You heard that right, baby. My seventh level five revitalized crest set. The purchases yesterday gave me the ability to go ahead and snatch up this level four revitalized crest set. Which should actually, you know what, I think I need to open up one of these level 3s as well. And that's going to give me the ability. Oh man, I opened up all of those. That might have been a mistake. Taking up too much room in the warehouse, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and combine. Let's see, level 3 here. It was, which ones do I need again? I can't even remember. So we got the first one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and combine that. We got the fourth one. We'll go ahead and combine that. And now I need the third one that's right so i need one more of the third one right there smash got him and let's go ahead and combine that and that is going to give me seven level five revitalized crest sets which is just crazy take a look i got them all in here at the warehouse for you guys or got them all in here in the warehouse for you guys so we got the one set oh my gosh is that sexy looking back in the day man it used to be way too hard to grab revitalized crest sets the only way to get them were in lost realm so it was like uh yeah getting a level four set used to be insanely hard so now it's kind of a breeze to get uh, level four level three and even level five sets at this point so i wanted to show you guys where i'm gonna put all these revitalized crest set the first one's going to go on my skull knight go ahead and put that right there very nice so we got a level five revitalized skull knight man the reason why i'm so excited about this is because this level five revitalized crust set is going to come in the clutch for my new walla walla baby for lost battlefield especially so i'm gonna put one on the trixie treat as well let's see i'm gonna throw one on the heartbreaker so there's three of these bad boys used up. Where are the rest of them going? We're going to put one on the Anubis. Need Why not? I mean, it definitely helps. Why not put one on the Anubis as well? The Anubis is auto-proc also. Uh, Rockno's auto-proc as well. So we need one on Rockno for Lost Battlefield. Let's see. And, of course, we need one for Ghulam. Because it's just nice when you have your Ghulam proccing at the start of the fight. You know, Ghulam seals are pretty beast, so that's nice. And then last but not least, baby, the 5 of 5 revitalized for Walla Walla. Man, is he going to be a monster. I'll show you guys what I have on him for, as for right now. So I put him in Victor's Emblem. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him there or not. It just seems like a safe place, especially since I have 8 of 8 stone skin on him already. And then as for equipment, I currently have Blinding Blow on him. I don't think I'm going to keep Blinding Blow on him. I just couldn't roll any better talents. The 5 of 5 that I rolled was Divine Templar, and I'm definitely not throwing that on him. So I'm not sure what I'm going to go with. Now as for traits... Oh boy, I got all dodge on him, and then I got a level 3 damage trait. Let's go ahead and reroll that one time. 1950 gems, though. That just seems like way too many gems, and damage isn't a bad thing. Should I just keep the damage on him? I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't reroll that. I'll just leave the level 3 damage on him for now. Man, should I reroll that? 1950 just seems like so many freaking gems, and honestly, I'm not sure if I even want to go with dodge yet. It's such a tough call, because I kind of want a damage and a dodge one, because in the long run, you know what I mean? I really don't think, I mean, dodge is okay for Walla Walla, but it's like, I don't want my Walla Walla actually tanking in battle, so it's like, do I really need dodge on him? And the damage actually affects his overall heals, plus his damage, obviously. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go with dodge or damage. I just hate looking at that three-star freaking damage right there. I want to change it to a five-star dodge one time. But I think I'll leave it for there, uh, leave it there for now. Now let's go ahead and get into Lost Battlefield and see where we can find a place for this bad boy. I'm currently sitting with a total score of 620 and ranked 367. So we got a lot of catching up to do, boys. But it'll be fun though playing with this Walla Walla. Now what team is he going to fit on the best? I need to go ahead and change all these teams up. But as for now, I'm going to let them leave them be. I think... Man, this is a tough call. Should we put Walla Walla not on the burst team? Because that team really doesn't need heals. This team, Ares with the little Nick proc at the start. Yeah, probably not here either, I don't think. Hmm. I guess here. Let's take out Valentina, I'm thinking. And try, try Walla Walla in place of Valentina. This should be interesting, man. Walla Walla is such a huge team in Lost Battlefield because... I mean, Walla Walla's auto-proc, and it makes it to where the other team can't even get healed on their heroes. 
So it's like, okay, anytime I see a golem up like this guy right here, if there's a golem there, I'm automatically sending my Walla Walla against that team because he hits all five targets and all five have majorly reduced healing and then it's probably going to be a win-win situation. So that's what I'm hoping for. So today's squad showdown is real. Well, yes, it is the beginning of it. All right, we need to get into that as well. So I'm going to make a video on that like right now. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas. I'm curious to know how many level five revitalized crest sets do you have? Is it one? Is it two? Three? Or zero? How many you got? Let me know in the comments below.